Prior to the Ukraine war, the U.S. dollar was used for international trade around the globe like none other, and that gave strength to the dollar. It gave value to the dollar, which helped Americans in their pocketbooks. If Russia rallies all these nations, BRICS is a list of nations: Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China, and South Africa. But a bunch of other nations have joined BRICS. Vladimir Putin's getting ultimate revenge for what happened. What happened was once he invaded Ukraine, Biden said we're going to do sanctions. Sanctions against you, shame on you, Putin. For for that, we're not going to do trade with you. And Putin realized how vulnerable he's been in relying on the U.S. dollar for trade, and said, "Well, screw this. We got to do something new. Let's use our own currencies." And now he's leading this charge of separating all of these nations from the U.S. dollar. Basically, like I'll show you, Biden. And it's not good for the U.S. economy or for the American people. It's also kind of it's shaking up global currency. And what we're seeing is The price of gold is skyrocketing. Slate reporting gold just hit its highest price ever. It might not stop. The precious metal is finding newfound appeal among investors, but it comes at a cost much higher than its monetary value. On Friday, the price of gold hit a record high.、Uh, this past Friday. With U.S. gold futures reaching more than two thousand seven hundred dollars in an ounce and sticking around that threshold, it's finding newfound appeal among everyday American investors who've never turned to this stuff before. In America, we're watching the value of our dollar wither. What does that mean? It means that it takes more dollars to buy one product or one service. Inflation is the withering away of the American dollar's value. People have been warning about this. Now they're seeing it happen. They've they've seen the gold ads and they're like. Oh crap! I guess there was something to to the gold ads. Maybe I need to invest in that. But one thing that's really driving up gold is that international central banks are switching to gold too. They're depleting their cash reserves, saying screw the U.S. dollar; it's not reliable anymore.